Hello, my precious rosebuds. It is your old rose thorn, and we are back with more diamond I'm rose thorns. Once again, I've been put in such an unreasonable situation. Seriously, he's like the king of unreasonableness. Why did it turn out like this? We were supposed to have a. Oh shit! I forget which button it is. No. Everyone, do your very best. Don't lose to yourself, and don't forget to save free. Hang on. Why don't I forget controls? No. Oh, there we go. Space, thank you. The reason the killer did an imitation on there is a reason that, other than falsifying the murder sequence. Huh. It suddenly got quiet in here. Did I confuse you? If so, I wish I could die from oh, self-loathing. Man, this again. If that's the case, it would have been just dandy if they had gone ahead and killed me too. If that happened, the imitation would have been perfect. So why didn't they do that? Well... It's against the rules to kill three people in the first place. Thank that you. rule is too harsh. I couldn't get killed because of that. Seriously, just shut up already. Shut up forever. Yeah, I'm agreeing with them right there. But I'm thinking about it again, and he's totally right. It feels incomplete. Because they didn't kill three people like the movie did? That's only because of Monokuma's rule. It's not just that. Come on, try to remember the content of the movie. Um, okay. About the lion that got killed second. That's the one Hiyoko's body was imitating, right? Hmm. Even though we're calling it an imitation, the lion was actually pinned by arrows, right? Yes. <laughs> But Hiyoko's body was suspended by common household duct tape. Maybe they just used a common substitute because it was too difficult to imitate the arrows. Well, that's probably it, but... That attitude is what makes this feel incomplete. If falsifying the murder sequence was the killer's plan from the very beginning... It most likely wasn't. They should have taken steps to properly imitate it. But if we never realized it was a half-assed imitation, their entire plan would have been completely useless. What are you trying to say? Are you saying the imitation wasn't planned? I'm Very saying... Much. Hiyoko's murder wasn't. What? Um, I understand that imitation wasn't enough, but... Aren't you making a bunch of assumptions? It's not just the poor imitation. There are also other strange details. Strange details? Like what? Like, for example, why did Hiyoko go to the music venue? Oh, we know that. So, you're saying the truth behind Hiyoko's murder is hidden? Yeah. I have no freaking clue what you're trying to say! However, this is getting quite interesting. My four dark devas side. of destruction are getting riled up. Clearly. So it is like, why did she go to the music venue? And the only reason who knows that is Sony. And Bobby. Okay, 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 okay. Why did Hyoko... 
go to the music venue? There's no way we'd know that! Maybe the killer summoned her! If that's not it... Maybe she got abducted by the killer! No. No, maybe... She went of her own free will! Yep. I agree with that! It's just as Sonya said. She went to the music venue of her own free will. So... Exactly Sorry. as I assumed. If no one called for her, then why did she go? Yoko locked herself in her room because she was being overly cautious of the despair disease, you know? I don't think a person like that would leave their room just because someone called for them. There's no way she got abducted? Yoko locked the room she was staying in before she went out. If she was forcibly taken from her room, there's no way she would have had time to lock it. The killer could have locked her door, right? Just to hide the fact Hiyoko got abducted. Then they couldn't have hidden her room key that deep in her kimono. They would have put it somewhere more obvious. That is true. Otherwise, there's no point in messing with the crime scene if nobody finds the key. At the time, you were the one who actually took out the key, right? Then something like that... I won't lose! Oh, dear God. Are you saying my gut was wrong? Yeah. This could be my first and last highlight of the day. Why won't you just let me shine already? Because you're an idiot. No! That's not the issue. Shut up! Enough with your fancy talk! I'll shut you up right now! Alright, I gotta remember how to do this now. This is gonna be fun. Step ladder, candle, summon, smudge on floor. <laughs> Hiyoko was locked inside a room. She definitely got abducted. The killer forced their way into Hiyoko's room and forcibly abducted her. The girl is so small and weak looking, and that's why the killer targeted her. But oh, Hiyoko's yeah. room was locked. The key was deep inside her kimono, remember? It's more likely that Hiyoko locked the door herself. I the killer was the one who locked the door! So what if the key was in her kimono? Maybe the killer just put it there later! There's no reason for the killer to put the key in Hiyoko's kimono. One. The killer probably didn't realize she even had the key. Hold on! Try remember it, her kimono was all messed up! No. Damn it. Hold on! Sorry, her kimono- There's only one reason her kimono would be that messed up. She fought the killer! Allow me to cut through those words! There we go. We're like, wait a minute, now I'm wrong. The reason Hyoko's kimono was messed up was because she wasn't able to properly wear it. Wear her kimono? Yeah, yeah. it's also the reason why she decided to go out on her own. Yoko seemed to be really struggling with wearing her kimono. I believe that was one of the reasons she locked herself in her room. That is why I informed her. I told her that there was a full-length mirror at the music venue, and I suggested that she use it. Yeah. Then, the reason her kimono was messed up wasn't because she fought the killer. No, it was because she was trying to tie it and couldn't. Yeah, she went to the venue on her own just to fix her messed up kimono. Poor girl. I, I get it. I lost. Boil me, burn me, take off my clothes, do whatever you want to Why me. You so Hachime, now's your chance. Make her admit defeat. Or better yet, make her do a little something something. Why are we cheating? Then, the killer probably couldn't have assumed that Hiyoko would go to the music venue. Though that may not apply to Sonya, since she provided Hiyoko with that information. Though I knew she would go there, there is no way I could have predicted when she would arrive. That is true. 
Don't go doubting Miss Sonia, you cretin. I'll put you and your hamsters six feet under. <laughs> Kazuichi, it seems you have quite the fashion sense. Do you want me to incinerate your clothes? Perhaps I could do that while you're wearing them. Oh, don't set him on fire. Gungeon, please right stop! For his sake. <laughs> Huh? What do you mean, for my sake? That was funny, yo. Of course. I've already overlooked no less than ten opportunities to kill you. Even if the killer couldn't predict it, why did Hyoko get killed in the music venue? They walked the along only the thing I can think of is, it was an unfortunate coincidence. Yeah. Coincidence? This isn't like When she video went to the one. venue by herself, she was probably just unlucky and walked in on the crime scene. Again. <laughs> Again. She was killed so there wouldn't be any loose ends? It probably happened when the killer was preparing to kill Ibuki. The killer most likely had already placed the hemp bag over her head. And without hesitation... Killed Hyoko. Because the killer used that coincidence for their crime, it made this case even trickier. Chapter 2, she gets framed. Chapter 3, she dies. That's died. the reason they imitated the movie to falsify the murder sequence. Which means that low-down scoundrel didn't plan on committing imitation murders at first. Then what was the killer actually planning to do? Make it look like a suicide. They've been cunning this far. There's no way they'd kill Ibuki without a plan. D do you have any ideas? Damn, we don't know the most important part. Hey Nagito, any ideas? Hey, how long are you gonna stay quiet? Oh, am I allowed to speak? <laughs> I'm so happy I'm getting goosebumps! Everyone actually needs help from scum like me! So what do you think? I was thinking about it while I had my mouth shut. But now I'm finally able to come to a conclusion. He's people. I just see him as a definitely didn't commit suicide. Exactly. Huh? What are you talking about? I thought there might be a possibility that she faked her death and tampered with the crime scene. But now I remember! There was blood on Ibuki's slippers! Yep. So if she faked her death and walked around the music venue tampering with the crime scene, there'd be bloody footprints left in various places throughout the venue. So that's why I think there's no way she faked her death. There's no way Ibuki committed suicide. You know, we already finished talking about that a while ago. Huh? Really? That's annoying. I guess I should just awkwardly laugh about it then. <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me? There's no limit to how useless you can oh, be. I'm really with you, Kazuichi. He's useless as shit. <laughs> yeah. That's strange. This is strange? What's strange? It's not something we finished talking about. Those footprints are still an important clue left that we completely overlooked. Just as Nika said, if she, had, she would have left footprints. Why weren't there any footprints on the... Step ladder? Come on, I'm sold. Step ladder. I can prove it with this! If Ibuki used the step ladder to hang herself, it's strange that there weren't any footprints on it. Huh? There weren't? Yeah. That step ladder was completely clean. No footprints or bloodstains at all. Exactly, though. <laughs> I know what you about. notice such a small detail? How amazing! <laughs> this is truly the talent of a chosen ultimate! <laughs> what are you talking about? 
you are obviously leading us to this. This is why you wrote Suicide Topic after all this time. Nagito, Komeda, you're definitely something I shouldn't understand. Didn't you say you saw that video of Ibuki climbing the stepladder? Then I think there's no doubt that she really did climb it. Sorry. Unless there was something Never funny about that weekend. video. I see. So there was some kind of trick arranged in that video, hmm? But that's something only Hajime would know, since he's the only one who saw that video. Which sucks. Just as I saw, it comes down to that. Found that something contained in the video. And whether or not we can reach the truth is all up to me. Hajime, I leave it in your hands. Thank you, Sonia. As long as I leave this to you, I won't tell you to do your best, but... Oh. I just want to check something, um... Report cards. Who all is filled? <laughs> Chica. And the dead girl. Oh, I remember when the game crashed and I redid everything. I normally do it from picking random people. But since the game crashed, I wanted to do it. Just actually see if we got the panties. I like Becca, okay? I don't care that she was a killer, I like her. Yeah, I'll definitely Let me try. Is there some hang glue in that video? I should have seen something when I started to watch it. I'm the only one who can clear that up. I'm the only one who actually saw the video, so I'm the only one who can do it. The hang in the video I saw, based on everything we know from the debates, thus far I should be able to figure out what's strange. The curtain. I don't know if they film the video on, I don't really Damn know. Damn it! What else can I click? Damn. Here! Step ladder. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's right, I remember now. There was definitely something strange about that video. Wow. I can't believe it was a step ladder. Can you explain it to us? <laughs> <laughs> What's strange is that stepladder I mentioned earlier. It's true that the steps of that stepladder weren't dirty, but on one side... There was, there was a blood stain, right on the left side of the stepladder. However, that contradicts the video I saw at the hospital. There weren't any blood stains on the stepladder in the video. It was completely clean. That is truly strange. If the video showed the moment of Ibuki's death, then Hyoko should have already been dead by that point. Yep, that is accurate. Even so, the fact is the stepladder had blood on it at the actual crime scene. Yep. But the stepladder in the video was completely bloodless. For that matter, if Ibuki... And there's no way the video was recorded in advance. If that's the case, the only thing I can think of is... It's possible those two stepladders were completely different. <laughs> Wait, are you saying there were two stepladders? Yes, we were saying there were two stepladders. But step where would you find another stepladder? There was only one stepladder in the music venue. Then one of the stepladders was somewhere other than the music venue. What do you mean? Uh oh. She's You're suggesting now. that the stepladder in the video isn't the only thing that's different. Am I right? The whole video is different from a different venue. That's amazing, Chiaki. All that gaming has given you incredible deduction skills. Is it okay to say that? Um, what are you two talking about? I play all the Dingamapa games, girls. One. Goodbye. Uh, Despair Sisters, which is 1.5. Uh, Chiaki says the set was a different place, but if that's the case, the whole different video crime scene is that the same as place that we did something wrong. Are we doing k Yeah, Yes. What? Alright. What's the. Uh, okay.
Oh, great. I know what it is. It's just, I'm not gonna enjoy this. I need an eye, thank you. Stone. Now I need another eye. Besides the stepladder, the filming location must have been different, too. What do you mean? I mean, the video I saw was not filmed at the music venue. It was filmed somewhere else. Woohoo! But the hospital monitor is supposed to display footage captured by the music venue camera, you know? Tell me some amused, the music venue then, camera. Then, there's a possibility that the killer also tampered with the surveillance camera unit. In order to show us, tell another minute about it, so somewhere else. What did the killer do to the surveillance camera unit? Oh, logic I love these. These are fun. Now all to do is not die. Nope. Hello. Goodbye. Hi. We. Okay. Here we are. Question one. Which part of the sale of Alan's camera did the unit tamper with? The camera. You don't need a tamper with the monitor. Thank you. Yeah. Ugh. All right, what's question two? Music venue. <laughs> that one was kind of obvious as shit. I'm sorry, I just don't want to die right now. Shit. <laughs> I say that as I kill myself. We're just gonna stop that. And we're just gonna speed up and slow down right now so I don't kill myself again. 
because if anyone noticed, I've sucked so hard lately doing this. There we go. Yeah, I refuse to risk that right now. Alright, costume three. They took it with them. I don't think they were that skilled <laughs> to have uh, <laughs> tampered with it. Like, increasing the signal, because that would be pointless. It's all coming together! They had to have taken it with them and moved it. And then brought it back That's and stored it. it. The killer just brought the camera from the music venue. With it, they made me think it was a live feed from the venue, when it was actually from somewhere else. Then, only the monitor was left in the music venue? Yep. Yes, at least when I first discovered Ibuki's body. But when Hyoko's body appeared, the killer probably put the camera back too. That means you should have realized that from the start, and made this easier on all of us. He did discover the body. I doubt his attention was focused on the camera. Exactly. Well, that's true, but... In order to hide that the camera was missing, the killer did one more thing to the remaining monitor. They smashed it. I see! There, we get a little The killer bit smashed that. the monitor to pieces, destroying it. Yep. As long as it was in pieces, you wouldn't be able to tell if the camera was actually there or not. My attention was so focused on the body that even I couldn't have noticed something like that. And the moment Hajime left the music venue, the killer put back the camera they took. Yep. And they destroyed it and left that in pieces as well. Hang on. Fixing the headset. <laughs> it's easy to say it was filmed somewhere else, but the surveillance camera's connection wasn't that strong. Despite Kazuichi's desperate repair efforts, it seems it could not transmit from the hospital to the motel. <laughs> Bless me. The fact that it was able to connect between the hospital and the music venue is amazing enough. Now we know. Which means they were shown in the face along that was transmitting to the hospital. Going to be pretty limited. That's the case where the video film to make it look like it was from the music venue. The possibility is that place inside the building. <laughs> Fucking hell! Um. Um. <laughs> Conference room? Um, um, um. It's conference room. Shit! <laughs> I knew that was wrong and I still did it. Um. I need enough. This is literally the game of spelling right now. I need an E. We just need an M now. 
I said M. How did my asshole give it first name? Thank you. I got it. That was just a bit. <laughs> Possible that it was filmed at the hospital's conference room. Huh? The conference room? But the hospital and the music venue look completely different. The conference room does not. That's exactly them. why the killer did something to make those two places resemble each other. The black curtain, the candlelight. Oh, does some work. Where was that work was? Oh, this is gonna be fun. Um. Music venue. Turn. There's no way the conference room and the music venue look the same. Which place resembled the other? Did the conference room look like the music venue, or did the music venue look like the conference room? Or did they make some kind of set? Well, they might have tampered with the camera. No. I still can't believe he mixed up the filming locations. Hajime, you're pretty stupid. Uh, in order to make the hospital room, you know. So the conference room. There's no way the conference room and the music venue look the same. Okay. Which place resembled the other? Did the conference room look like the music venue? God damn it. Damn it! Oh, it's the other There's way no around. way the conference room and the music venue look the same. Which place resembled the other? Did the conference room look like the music venue? Or did the music venue look like the conference room? Or did they make some kind of set? Well, they might have tempted. I still can't believe. Hajime, you're pretty stupid. Alright, I know There's the no answer. There's no way the, the music venue looked this. Turn <laughs> very back to the music venue. It's not wide enough to reach the ground. Which place resembled the other? Did the conference room look like the music venue? Okay. Or did the music venue look like the conference room? That yeah. must be it! Oh my god, uh, nope, that one's wrong. What she the killer the did around. was... Make the music venue, the crime scene, look like the conference room. They did that by using the black curtain hanging at the back of the stage. What I remember, there used to be a really flashy curtain, but after the incident, yeah, it was black. <laughs> it somehow became a plain black curtain that didn't seem to be the right size. That's right! It's so half-assed, just like Monami. Oh, fuck oh you. yeah. Well, <gasps> I'm sorry, your I like face this Monami. looks stupid. <laughs> that curtain was hung so the music venue would look like the conference it really room. Stupid. That was cute. In actuality, even though the curtain in the conference room doesn't stand out, it is a black light blocking curtain that's long enough to reach the floor. I see. The conference room. Indeed, the floor of that room is... the same color as the music venue stage. So the killer chose the conference room because they realized the floor matched. Matching floors, matching curtains. I guess it makes sense you'd mistake the two. But that's not all. There should be something else the killer did to tamper with the evidence. Probably. The candle? I can prove it with this! Yeah, I guessed. You're referring to the candle in the music venue, right? 
In the video I saw, a candle was used for lighting. But if you think about it, that's pretty strange. The music venue has good lighting, so there's no reason to even use candlelight. But wouldn't they have done it to make it feel creepier? That might have been another reason, uh, but... The main reason was probably to favorite. tamper with evidence. <laughs> the lighting in the conference room and the music venue are so different. Sorry, they couldn't the be used during girl. filming. That's why the killer used a candle as film lighting instead. Because the minute they used real lighting, what the fuck Which means... Over. Are you saying the candle in the music venue wasn't actually used? That candle was likely placed there just to make me think it was the same candle that was used in the video. I love this game. With candlelight, you can't see things in that much detail. Maybe they were going for that effect. Yeah, because in candlelight, things are darker and harder to see. With that cheap-ass camera, it won't capture much in a dark area. As long as this all matches up, it should be no problem to say this is decided. The video I saw wasn't filmed at the music venue. It was actually filmed at the hospital conference room. Which means only one person could have done it. If I'd found proof that evidence in the conference room was altered, we would have reached an answer sooner. But it appears the killer already covered that up, so I didn't find anything when I went there. But there's no mistake. That's the only place within the connection range of the surveillance camera. Yep. The motel would have been too far, and the interior design of the movie theater is too distinctive. But this must be a surprising turn of events for Hajime. You never suspected that the video you saw in the hospital was being filmed in the conference room. The incident isn't happening at the scene of a crime. It's occurring in the conference room. I love Sonia. She's so cute. I feel like I heard a basic cop say that before, but it's <laughs> the other way around. Um, if Ibuki's hanging video was filmed at the hospital's conference room, then was Ibuki killed at the conference room, too? No. 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 That's not possible. Right after Hajime saw that video, he discovered Ibuki's body at the music venue. Exactly. Oh, yeah, Mark Lewis means to fix them. The Ibuki from in the conference room. I see! The person wearing the hint bag in that video wasn't Ibuki. It was the killer, the killer pretending to be Ibuki. <laughs> the killer put on Sorry, a hospital gown, this. wore a hint bag on their head, and was only pretending to be the victim. I'm like a five-year-old when it comes to this game. By that time, the real Ibuki must have already been killed. The actual time of death must have been earlier. Probably around midnight or dawn to avoid witnesses. If they took Ibuki from the music venue to the hospital to kill her, there's no way it happened during the day. That's what exam. At that moment, I was already in the close trap. No one says But trap why for did me the was. killer go to the trouble of making a fake video just so Hajime could go to the crime scene? The reason the killer made a fake video was the set. There's only one possibility I can think of, and if I examine that possibility thoroughly, are we doing another logic drive? Then naturally, the killer's identity will reveal itself. We're doing another logic huh? drive. You feed! Are you saying you already know who the killer is? That's right. I should already know. I should have already known who the killer is. You're the only one! Mika, you're the killer, aren't you? Um, uh, what are you talking about? Like I said, aren't you the killer who murdered Ibuki and Hyoko? Killer? Huh? <laughs> I'm the killer? What is this? 
Hey, don't you think that's kinda impossible? No. <laughs> a chick like her as the killer? She no, couldn't even possible. kill a fly. This In fact, possible. the fly would probably kill her first. Once. Thanks to that video, we're the only ones who have the advantage of an alibi. An alibi? Was that the killer's goal? Now that you mention it, you guys brought that up earlier. Only Hajime and Mikan have an alibi. It's just a coincidence! But you're the only one who could have filmed that video in the hospital conference room. Exactly. He was at the door. Is that also a coincidence? <laughs> Shouldn't you get some rest already? You should be exhausted from nursing without any sleep, right? Then if you're in this tower, you stop coming in the steps. You must be mentally exhausted, so you better relax in the lobby instead. At that time, you said you were going to the on-call room, but you actually went to the conference room. That's when you put on a hospital gown that you prepared in advance, put the bag on your head, and began filming. Yeah, they do the white out body. By doing that, you made ass. up a video that showed Ibuki trying to hang herself at the music venue. This is gonna be fun. And showed that to me. <laughs> Furthermore, I saw that video at the hospital lobby. If someone wants to go to the conference room from outside, they have to pass through the lobby. Meaning, their cover would have So blown. it's impossible that someone who wasn't already in the hospital went to the conference room to film. Not only that, the others in the hospital, Akane and I, were both delirious from the despair disease. So that must mean... Please wait a second! She's freaking what out. are you saying? I, I'm the killer? Yes, you are. That's impossible! There's no way I could kill someone! Oh, honey, please. It's not literally impossible. Can't you give a better defense than that? It just shows she can't even do that. Hey, you sure this chick is really the killer? Yeah. You're wrong! It's totally wrong! It's not what you think! Just like Akane said, it is really hard to tie it all together. I mean, Mikan is the killer? I agree. It is truly difficult to believe someone could be killed by such a slow-witted woman. Wow, That slow-witted remark is not necessary. Thank you, Sonia. <laughs> it's fine. I've been like this for a long time. In a tournament for social punching bags, I'd easily win first place with my soft reputation. Oh my God. Even I can't deny that. How many times do I have to tell you? It's impossible for me to kill someone. I am serious. Very serious. What do you say, Hajime? Do you still believe this woman is the killer? Yeah. Mm, do you hate me that much, Hajime? Hey, Hajime! Um... Everyone's getting out uh, on me. Uh, Tricks aside, logic aside, is she really capable of doing something like this? Could it be I'm I the one making a mistake? No, in fact, it must be so much easier if I was wrong. If I had this much doubt about someone I've spent so much time with... Can you hold on a minute? Huh? Well, I know I'm being intrusive and all. And I mean, I have no place to say this. I missed all of the critical parts, and I doubt I have anything worth saying at an important time like this. What are you saying? But still, there's definitely no way I can overlook the killer this time. I hate him. <laughs> I thought it was suspicious all along, from the very beginning. Oh. Investigating with the suspect in mind creates a different result than investigating with no leads. 
He's right. Hey, what are you trying to say? Well, thanks to that, I was able to discover a truth that nobody else knows. She was the only one who knows the answer was the thermostat. I've been so focused on everybody else this trial. But I guess now's a good time to say it, right? You better not have kept quiet on purpose. This isn't a game, you know. Actually, this is a game. <laughs> Please don't say such controversial statements. Well, he isn't wrong. Well, what do you know, Nagito? Well, it's nothing big, really. Only a small, decisive clue that points to the killer. Dang, that's a huge deal. A d d d decisive clue. Does something like that really exist? Let's take a look, shall we? Regarding the rope Ibuki was dangling from, this rope was supplied by the supermarket, right? There weren't any ropes inside the music venue. Yeah. Again with the supermarket? That place is a hot spot for criminal goods. If they got it at the supermarket, that means it was brand new, right? Yeah. What's wrong with that? I want you to take a close look at this rope. And keep in mind that it's brand new. Near the middle of the rope, it's frayed, as if it was rubbed strongly. But why is it like this? The loopy bookie used to hang herself is on one end of the rope, and the part of the rope that hung from the baton lighting is on the other end. Hey, you're taking too long. What's wrong with the rope being frayed? Oh, it's just a strangle. It means, well, from what I can infer, I think the rope was used like this. The killer wrapped the rope around Ibuki's neck, pulled both ends at full strength, and strangled her. The center of the rope is frayed because that's the part they used to strangle Ibuki. Yep, I'm with you on that one. Oh, God. I've been listening to you for a while. And it sounds like you knew about this rope clue all along. What exactly did you say to me during the investigation? Uh, crap. So the rope isn't, won't be much of a clue, then I might as well search another place. Not everyone cooperates at a class trial. Those who lie and conceal the truth will obviously be here too. He's an ass. Just like this case is killer. I was just copying them a little bit. Oh? More importantly, what was all that about the rope? The killer strangled Ibuki. And then... And then... I finished speaking. Huh? How is that? Huh? You didn't notice it. I thought I made the... The rest contains a decisive clue. Clue really true. They strangled her. Let's just go through this one so I can hear everything. Ibuki didn't die from hanging. She was strangled to death. That's basically the same thing. No, it's not. Though hanging and strangling seem similar, they're very different. The scars they leave would look different too. Scars? You mean the rope burned, right? But we believed it was from a hanging. Why would that be? Did we fall for someone's lie? The body at the crime scene was hanged, you know. Obviously, we'd assume it was a hanging. The Monokuma file complicates this too. It never specified hanging or strangulation. Whoever misunderstood is to blame! But it's true, cause of dust with strangulation in the past. Ibuki didn't die from hanging. She was strangled to death. That's basically the same thing. Okay. Though hanging and strangling seem similar, they're very different. The scars they leave would look different too. Scars? You mean the rope burned, right? But we believed it was from a hanging. Yeah. Why would that be? Did we fall for someone's lie? 
The body at the crime scene was hanged, you know. Obviously, we'd assume it was a hanging. We have to the Monokuma okay. file complicates okay, okay, this, okay, too. Okay, okay, okay. It never specified hanging or strangulation. Right, I know what we need to do Whoever now. misunderstood is to blame! Ibuki didn't die, she was strangled. That's basically the same thing. Though hanging and strangling seem similar, they're very, wait, the scars wait. they leave would look different too. One second, I just need to check something. Because I can't remember if we need it. If strangled would be the lie or hanged. Um. I guess I could try both. Well, try both, because someone's lie would be the hanged, actually. The. But we believed it was from a hanging. Right. Why would that be? Did we fall for someone? The body at the crime scene was. Obviously, we'd assume it was a hanging. The Monokuma file complicates this, too. It never uh. specified. Whoever misunderstood is to blame! Yeah. One Ibuki second. didn't. One second. She was strangled all to right. death. All right, all right. That's basically the same thing. I was sick Though hanging and much. strangling seem similar, they're very different. The scars they leave would look different too. Scars? You mean the rope burn, right? But we believed it was from a hanging. Why would that be? Did we fall for someone's lie? The body at the crime scene was okay, obviously we did the Monokuma right. file. It never specified. Right Whoever thing. misunderstood is to blame. This whole fucking time, and I have to fast forward through this. Ibuki guy. didn't die. She was strangled. Yep. That's basically the still hanging and strangling scenes. The scars they leave would look different. Scars? You mean the? But we believed it was from a hanging. Why would that be? Did we fall for someone's lie? Yes, we did. Now if I can, there we go. That must be it. I'd be happy. So that's what happened. We've been falling for the killer's lie this whole time. Yeah, so we've done that. You said Ibuki hanged herself, so that was a complete lie. Wasn't it, you told us the wrong cause of death. You lied, didn't you? Because Mika's not that stupid. <laughs> you should have been able to tell the difference between hanging and strangling just by looking. You, Mikan, the ultimate nurse. But even a drunk medical student can notice the difference between a hanging and strangulation. I'm not taking her yeah, side or anything, but being clumsy and unskilled in this area could lead to a mistake. Down around 
up and she I would be totally closer right. to the chin where the burn <laughs> was. I'm such a the clumsy mess. The strangulation would actually be angled so and careless. deeper because it's Nikon forced. nursed me till I got better. There's no way I'm gonna doubt her. Don't you think her devotion to nursing is what helped her draw Ibuki to her death? Probably. Huh? <laughs> and if not, her symptoms were still very serious and caused her to believe what anybody told her. It yeah, wouldn't surprise me if like she willingly followed Mikan because she was nursing her. So, so Mikan volunteered to nurse us? Because she was planning to do this all along? That's a little... Aren't you like the thief who suspects everyone else of being thieves? I'm not a criminal. Mikan is. I mean, she's a killer, you know. You've got it all wrong. Please forgive me. I'm sorry, but there's no way I can forgive you. This makes I just me can't forgive her. this crime at all. I want to hug Mikan even though I know she's um, the bad guy. Forgiveness or not, we still have not decided. <sighs> hmm. She is right. I see. You get well. If that. But is that really okay? You're for <laughs> Yeah, we're just. I don't want to do that. But I need to. You, you doubt? That's not it. I suspect them because I want to believe them. What, what the hell does that? Um, I don't. Huh? I do doubt her. But I still want to believe her. Yeah. We're just skipping that because I don't fucking care. Oh, so in the end, you're all just a bunch of bullies, huh? Her voice pattern Justifying James. your actions with fancy words. <laughs> Everyone off. <laughs> it's. <laughs> It's not fair. It's not fair. Not fair. Not fair. Why won't you forgive me? If you did something wrong, you'd forgive yourself! What did I no, do? No, I have done Why something wrong and I blame myself for you. I dropped my sister's like elevator this, your in the air, which now? was a fucking accident, well, and I actually cried. This is annoying. Plus, to be honest, in the room I've run out of ideas. In corner as my punishment. How can we get you to admit it? That's the issue. If we well, don't have any wrong. clues, I can't remember, why don't we have her give us some? Oh, oh this I'm still be fun. the same as Hajime. But still, the truth is one of us, that's why. We gotta stick... Alright, yeah. Hey, okay. Mikan, can I... If you're not the killer, then who fabricated that video Hajime watched? This is gonna be fun. Oh, like I said... <laughs> It Yay, obviously me. wasn't me! Can you prove it? <laughs> prove it? Wait! Do you have any proof that I'm the one who fabricated that bit? Oh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> because you're just assuming the video was filmed at the conference room. Nope. We're concluding that bit. Treating me evidence. like a killer based on an assumption. A logical Just assumption that some I was proof. at the hospital. <laughs> That's totally crazy. I didn't do anything and wrong. And there's only four people Why at the hospital. Why does everybody always hate me? And most of them were so. Just forgive me Sorry. already. It, is this broad really okay? She's emotionally unstable. <laughs> this is all broad. <laughs> I'm not the killer. That video. Uh, hmm. It seems she finally started arguing. Huh? But the only one who can find the hole. So, I'm going to leave this to you once again. Could be TFT's go all along. She's saying everyone's fate depends on me, the only one to solve it. Why video. do you get to decide I'm the killer? Where's your. Please! Forgive me already! They're like little paper cutouts. And it's so cute. I'm the one who has to do it. I'm the one who has to put them in this. Okay. We don't need any of those. I'm not the killer! Yes, you are, sweetheart. We can't think of anybody else other than you who could have filmed that video. Pretty oh, much. Do you have any proof? Is the hemp bag on her head the proof? Nope. Is the hospital gown she was wearing suspicious? Nope. Or could it be the hospital slippers she had on? Nope. Ibuki and Mikan clearly have different body types. 
Is that really your proof? Okay. You could tell her body type under the hospital gown? Just from that video? No. Just from that camera angle? We never stand Just the camera. Just from that dim candlelight? There's no way you'd be able to make out her body type! So please forgive me already! Hajime, pay close attention and listen well. You're the only one who can point out the killer's mistake. There we go. Don't flinch, don't hesitate, don't run away. I'm the only one who's in the video. Right. I'm not the killer! This is gonna be fun. We can't think of anybody else other than you. Who could have filmed that video? Huh? Do you is the hemp bag on her? Is the hospital gown she was wearing suspicious? Or could it be the hospital slippers she had on? Ibuki and Mikan. Is that really your proof? You could tell her body type under the hospital gown? Just from that video? Just from that camera angle? Just from that dim Shit. candle? There's no way you'd be. So please forgive. Hajime, pay close attention and listen well. You're the only one who can point out the killer's mistake. I'm not the killer! We can't think of anybody who could have filmed that. Huh? Is the hemp bag on? Is the hospital gown? Or could it be the hospital slippers she had on? Ibuki and Mikan. Is that really your proof? You could tell her body type under the hospital gown? Just from that video? Just from that camera angle? God Just from that dim- There's no way you'd be- So please forgive me or- Hajime, pay close attention and listen. You're the only one who can point out the killer's mistake. I I'm not the killer! We can't think of anybody who could have filmed that. Huh? Do you have- Is the hemp bag on? Is the hospital gown she was wearing? Or could it be the hospital slippers she had on? Ibuki and Mikan clearly have different body types. Is that really your proof? You could tell her body type under the hospital gown? Just from that video? Just from that camera angle? I'll shoot through that contradiction. There we go. Oh, that took a minute. Mikan. You've committed a major mistake. Mistake? As I said before many times, I'm the only one who saw that video. What's wrong with that? But I never said anything about the camera angle. <laughs> so how can you say anything about the camera angle as if you saw that video yourself? This is fun. This is fun. <laughs> The only an reason <laughs> Mikan knew the camera angle Hajime had don't seen care. We're finishing this child. is because you're the person who actually filmed that video. Is that right? This is your just reward. The more desperately you argue, the deeper you dig yourself into a hole. You lied, didn't you? <laughs> oh. Are you serious? Is it true, Mikan? Did you... Did you kill Hiyoko and Ibuki? Ah, forgive me! Huh? 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 Uh. <laughs> I was wrong. Wrong. No, no. That's not it at all. That's not it? I mean... It's impossible. Impossible. You know that hemp bag Ibuki was wearing when she oh Ding! I totally remember now. What the heck's wrong with her? She's getting weirder by the minute. That tote bag. Isn't it the same one that girl was wearing in the video? How do you know so much about that video? <laughs> More importantly, did you know that bag is a limited item that was sold at the movie theater? Yeah, two. Hajime saw it too, didn't you? You remember the Usami decal on it, right? Whoopsie! Don't worry about it. I remember even if you don't. Ta-da! There's no mistake that that tote bag is a limited item. There was two. So don't you think it's impossible? There was Using two. Using one tote bag in both the conference room and the music venue at there the same was time? It's blatantly obvious that that's impossible. Don't you think? 
That's why that video isn't fabricated, and I'm not the killer. So you'll forgive me, right? Taking your stubbornness this far. Such despair. Then you're gonna forgive me? I won't s- Logic. Time to see. Time for your third PTA. This is probably gonna be my last job during the class trial. Please humor me while I take your ears one last time. Starting from the PTA, the reload and ammo features will be added. There's no longer be able to take make do with just the left mouse button. Ha 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 ha. From this point on, you'll need one bullet to start one mark. When you're out of bullets, you won't be able to strip. That's right, press the tab key. Okay. I'm walking on the tab key in time with the tempo marker. This is gonna be fun. My fingers are there. Let's do this. This is where we're not going anywhere. Gotta do something in this. I gotta do something I can make her admit. Okay, this is not gonna be easy, but we got this. PTA, let's go. Oh. You still haven't forgiven me? I'll do anything you want. Please, draw on me. Do you understand? Forgive me already? Forgive me! Forgive me! Please, draw on me! Do you understand? Can you forgive me already? I'll do anything you want! Can you forgive me already? I'll do anything you want! You're done for! Always oh, please. Forgive me! <laughs> Monokuma mentioned this earlier. When you buy one bag, you get another one free. It's a common practice to customers with a bonus prize. Whoever bought that bag should have received another one as a bonus prize. Which means it's not impossible to use that bag in two separate places. <laughs> so please, just stop making desperate excuses. <laughs> Why? Why can't, can't you forgive me? me? Why? It seems her desperate struggle is finally coming to an end. You're a bitch. Why does everybody you, always you're, hate you're me? You're you bitch, should you're just bitch, forgive you're me you're already. Mikan, it's already over. After I go over your crime from the beginning. And show that you have no arguments left. Yep. We're just just admit it already. That. In the end, at least let me believe in you. Uh, this is gonna be fun. Let's do this. Alright. We have 10 minutes. Um, stop one. Spreading the glue, surveillance camera unit. Um, what I saw on the monitor. Go. What does the killer do after the broadcast? Okay. Go left. Number four. Back to normal. I'm off to the strong yet. Small clue left to go left. And the four. Killer 
Alright. Here's everything that happened in this case. <sighs> no, like, wait a minute. The key to this incident something. is the surveillance camera video that only I Yep. We're just fast forward and I'm sure this because we don't need it. This is just a mad recap of everything. She did that, she removed it. Leave the comments room. After we see that, because this is literally the shortest shit ever, she rips that down, reveals her, smashes the camera, breaks the drumstick, and scorches glue. We tell everyone to break back in and see that. Isn't that right, Mikan? This crime was orchestrated by you, wasn't it? <laughs> Whoa! Now she's laughing? Yeah, we're just gonna listen. <sighs> it's been such a long time. This feeling, I know it well. Like the floor is collapsing, like the sky is falling down upon you. This feeling of despair! M Mikon, you... what has happened to you? Whoa there! Before that, a moment of your time! What's up, Manakuma? Yeah, the 46 one I deserved. I'm perfectly fine with that B. I fucked up part 11 really bad. It seems your arguments have reached a conclusion. So let's proceed to our regularly scheduled... Now then, please pull who will be chosen as the blackened. Will you make the right the choice or, or the, the dreadfully, dreadfully wrong one? Let's go. Don't worry, I'll mute it before the killing scene so it doesn't get monetized again. Cause that's what gets it monetized, just the killing scene. Even when I talk over it. So it may be obvious at this point. Correct! You got it right once again. That's like three in a row! That's right, the true identity of the horrifying black and who killed those two girls with Mikan. Damn it! You gotta be shitting me. Are you saying Mikan, the one who nursed us back to health, was the one who killed I them? I won't forgive you! Don't joke around with me, Mikan. Did you lie to us so long? Were you planning to kill them from the start while you nursed them? <laughs> hey! Don't just laugh. Say something. This is going nowhere. What's going on? This chick. Hey, hey. This is nothing like Pekka. She's actually gone mental. That's obvious. There's nothing we can do. She's no longer the same person. She's no longer the Mikami now, huh? Hey. Based on my prediction, she might have caught it too. She probably had the spare disease, which was the cause of the murder. What? Skin. Mikami, you say? I... I know because I was looking at Mikahan for so long, she was the only one taking care of me after all. My consciousness kept drifting, but even so, when I did catch a glimpse of her expression was full of despair. Despair so devoid of hope that not even a single fragment of it remained. Hold on, did you say Mikahan and also had despair? That means what? she was. Han, may something cross your mind? My body's heavy, not just heavy, it's somewhat soft and really hot. That's right, Mikan felt hot at the time. Now that I think about it, she must have been. I high fever just like what Ibuki and Akane it had. It cannot be! And because of these, Mikan Perhaps. was something sure that surely felt she must be deserving of the name Despair Disease. Losing all hope and harboring despair for all hope. Because of the Despair Disease, she was likely overcome with despair. See? That's the reason why she can still laugh at such a hopeless situation. <laughs> 
Jeez. Which means Mekon standing before us right now is no longer the ultimate nurse. She's a completely different person now that she was been infected by Isn't her. that right? She's a human who deserves the title to be called the ultimate despair. Ultimate despair. <laughs> I... That's the reason why I cannot forgive this. I mean, killing someone for the sake of despair instead of the sake of hope. Possible. There's no way I can forgive that. Oh? For the sake of despair? Ha ha ha, that's completely wrong. Huh? Wrong was wrong. What I did was for the sake of my beloved. <laughs> huh? Huh? Who are you talking about? <laughs> if only they were still alive, they'd be so happy. I know. My beloved was the only one. That's right. The only one who never hated me. I don't hate you, honey. I just find you a little freaky. They forgave my existence. I forgive your existence again. You were just a little cuckoo. They forgave me and accepted me. I accept you. You're just a few shies of the cuckoo nest if you get my drift. They gave me value. You have value of being a nut shop. They loved me. I love you. You're like my favorite insanity character. I loved them with all my heart, and they returned it in full. I don't think they did, sugar. This is my reciprocation. Murdering two people is your reciprocation. Okay, got it. Never stay near you when I'm sick. Good to know. <laughs> Alright, I'm muting this because I have a feeling we're just going to leave that muted for now. I'm going to read. Okay. I understand that I've done something unforgivable. But you know, but you know, to transcend is all that is truly what love is all about. I don't understand what you're saying. You don't understand. Is it because you don't have anyone to love? Maybe because you're also someone who isn't accepted by anyone. What a pity. I feel sorry for you. Even if I say this, I'm sure nobody here would understand, but love is a wonderful thing. I have this feeling of freedom, where you no longer care about anything. My beloved and I are the only ones within that thin veil, and I'm just looking out through it. That's why as long as I'm on the inside, no matter how much they tease me, they splash me with water, kick me. It's like nothing matters. I just, I just die. That's how little it matters. Who cares about hope or despair? It's love. Only love. Nakito, is this really the despair disease you were talking about? Seems that I was wrong. Not only was she defected by despair, you were only half right. It's right to say that all this was thanks to the disease. Because thanks to that disease, I was able to remember my beloved. Remember? Apparently, that's what the symptom was. Haha, <laughs> what a wonderful symptom. Which means you had the remembering disease. But if that means you remember something that like, ended up like this, I think you were like this from the start. Were you like this before you even came to the island? Don't get so angry. Well, first of all, the reason I became like this wasn't my fault. It was all your fault, you know? Because it's not like I'm entirely responsible for turning out like this. I'm the person I am today because of many human relationships. So it's everybody's fault that I turned out like this, you see? Even so, the current me was most strongly influenced by my love's existence. <sighs> and it was my beloved who created the me that everyone can't forgive. But my love is... Still forgives me and still accepts me. That's the key difference between all of you and my beloved. Like I said, who the fuck are you talking about? Hey, hey. That's all you're getting from me. From that life of that. Hey, hey. Are you saying this is Mekon? She's real Mekon. Mekon, please answer me. Do you really remember? You ended like to lose this because... All because you remembered? There's no way I can believe that. There's I have no fucking idea who's calling. I have no idea where that number is. Uh, the clock. Because I have no idea. I really don't know, and I'm not gonna. Sorry. 
Oh, you still doubt me? Send to prove that I remember, I'll tell you something nice. It's about that world and the organization you're all worrying about, you know? Not, no, I remember, that's all. I knew about it all along. How horrifying they should know as a world ender. Also, the organization known as the Future Foundation. That's right, the symbol on the ancient ruined doors. That's right. It was a Japanese word for future. This game is Japanese, but since we're in English, it's going to say it all in English. Sorry, guys. I don't speak Japanese. I don't. Mm. I'm uncomfortable. Just what is this future foundation and what are they planning? How does the name suggest stable organization is the word? Business is trying to end our world. But it's simply they're trying to claim the world for themselves. This is not what most things do. What the heck? This isn't a comic book, you know. As part of their plan to end the world, the Future Foundation brought us to this island. Isn't that right, Monami? Huh. Hey? I think I I knew it. Mama me, Monokuma, you're both the members of that crazy organization, aren't they? <laughs> Mama and I are members. Kuma, my existence is entirely my own. <laughs> Sorry. Oh dear God. Don't laugh. Hey, me come. If you really do remember, then you already know, right? You know the identity of the traitor hidden among us. Of course, I know that. Let's see the future foundations hidden among you all is. Oh, well, no one really cares about that, don't you think? I love her. Oh, hell no. You'll find out eventually. So there's no need to be so impatient, probably when the countdown ends. Countdown? You, you even know about that. I don't know anything. Huh? I have a feeling that's what it's about. But who cares about that, you know? I'm drowning so much love from the bottom of my heart. I just don't care about it anymore. Mikan, is this... Mikan, is this true to you? I won't believe it. There's no way that you can believe that you were like this all along. Because if that's true, then who's the person we've been spending time with up till now? It's a past. Past? The person she didn't exist in the beginning. She is just my past self who lost her school memories. You guys consider that thing for... <sighs> That doesn't make me happy at all. It just fill me with despair. You guys accepted my past self, but my, not my present self. That's... Well, that applies to you all as well. Memories of people, memory of events. Whatever memory it is, losing memories are. Like losing your personal identity. Memories is the most important component in building a person, don't you think? Losing our memories makes us shadows of the past, don't you think? I don't know what you're trying to say, but... I'm just checking the shit. Makes sense. Okay. Don't go alive, so it's true all along. Our memories were taken away. If that was true, we wouldn't be suffering so much. Well, why don't you just take your sweet time and remember at your own pace. Monokuma, is it right for you to start now? Punishment time? Damn it, why? Because you don't have to end like this. This is too pointless. This is too much. Very special punishment for the ultimate nurse, Mikan. Sumuki. Sumiki. Really? I can go to my beloved. You always forgive me. Sorry, I do have this still muted. I can hear the voice and you guys can't. Finally see that. Forgive me. One of us gonna die with the hope of finally seeing you. Everything we got. It's punishment time. I'm an ass. <laughs> Boom. God damn, it's already almost noon. I've been recording this for nearly an hour and a half already.
Well, I'm actually in a hospital bed. Oh, dear goddess. Bye bye, ouchies. What the fuck? They're injecting. What is that? No, 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 not touching. She's riding on a. On an arm. Now she's riding on the hand. That was the upper part of the arm. The lower. Whatever. <laughs> Alright, I can unmute now. Oh, god damn. It's finished. Is it really finished? The killer who kills Ibuki and Hyoko's. Was Mikon. And she's been executed. She apparently committed the crime because she was inflicted by the spirit of these. My ears are literally starting to burn from this headset. So what now? What's finished? Nobody wanted it to end this way. Let me ask. Who was that Mikon from earlier? Was that her true form or is it self system of the disease? <clears throat> Doesn't matter either way. She ended up like that from just remembering. Then all along, Mikan was never worth being a symbol of hope. What? Even her words were influenced by the disease. If the disease turned her under that, she lost herself to a simple disease. She was definitely unworthy of being a symbol. Shut the fuck Isn't up! Isn't that right? So let's just move on. <laughs> Come on, let's take this fridge. Please wait! That's impossible. <sighs> I mean, I thought we were friends this whole time, but even so. Like a house of cards collapsing in an instant. And the and the friend, our friend who we thought we knew, Showing us a completely different side of herself. Then she vanished from our sight, leaving behind only her malice towards us. And now there's no way we can just move on or try to have a clear cut attitude about these feelings. That's clearly impossible. Damn it! It'd be so much easier if she was a traitor, too. Wrong! Too bad! That's not the case. Mika was not the traitor. Come on! The traitor's still alive, that's proof. How, see how fine my Naomi looks right <gasps> now. I'm not fine at all, mm -hmm. but if the traitor died, you'd be in this calm, right? I mean, you're both bombs for future foundations, so you guys like two hearts beating as one, right? You fiend. What does that make you a fiend? You did say you're going to do this friend's yeah. anatomy. Who knows about who I am? More importantly, I'm tired. The drama just kept going and going. Didn't have any time to eat my black bean right eye during this break. Hey! Your right eye is made out of black beans. Hey, hey! Wait, now's not the time to focus on that. What are you trying to say? Hey, um... You know, isn't it sad that life has its ups and downs? It's fun because downs come after the ups, but life was full of downs when the kids were... Yeah. Oh, no, we got to feel better after we had a special event. Special event. Head <laughs> over to the first island the beach for an old fashion. An old friend will be waiting there. Old friend? Huh? Could it be? Now come on. Hey! It is. It is, isn't it? Nakamura was safe after all. Hmm. I'm safe after I say this. Hmm. <laughs> I know this will be crazy, but Nakamura will come back to us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I might leave that for the next episode. They're all just talking now. And they're all just crying. Nakamura came back. When we heard that, we are unable to turn aside and jump into the elevator. Uh -oh. Naomi just ran off without listening to what I had to say. She's just so impatient. Then they learned to stick around until others are finished um, talking. What does that mean? Hey! You know you're plotting something again, aren't you? No way! I'm not plotting anything. I'm just trying to properly explain everything to them. Including Nakamura's body. Mm -hmm. Oh, Nakamura's body. <laughs> Circle for not sticking around till I finished. <laughs> so funny happens because of that there nor so What do you do next What's tomorrow? This? What I do, I guess and that's all I mean if I didn't is that in a way I could save someone who was that close to death. So I'm just gonna be out. <laughs> what? Uh I'm going to save it here because I want that to be in the next chapter.
That and because my ears are literally starting to burn from the headset. So, uh, we're just gonna leave it here and find out how Nakamura is in the next video. I'm so sorry for uh, ending it here on a cliffhanger, but my ears are starting to get hot on this headset. I can't wear it for too long or it starts really upsetting my head. But uh, this is Rose Sam saying peace and love. I'll see you guys in the next video. But next time on Thing and Rumpa, Good to Bad Despair, we'll be finding out what did Monokuma do to Nekumaru. Because that guy got hit with something big. I'm lucky he's alive. Bye, guys. Peace and love. See you in the next video.